The idea of American exceptionalism is dead. Some never tire of telling us how out of step America is with the rest of the world. Her freedom, her prosperity, well, they're just historical accidents or the result of American imperialism. Of course, this argument presupposes there are better places to live. If Alec Baldwin were to leave the country as he once promised he would do, where would he go? This autumn, I will circumnavigate the globe to see how America stacks up against the rest of the world. Traveling west, I will visit six continents and 23 countries in 80 days. I will hit such places as Japan, a post-war success story, transitioning from fanatical emperor worship and feudalism to democracy and capitalism. New Zealand, why are so many Americans moving there? Hong Kong, a city 18 times more densely populated than New York City and an economic powerhouse. Russia, how can a country with such vast natural resources be so economically and politically backward? Nigeria, the wealthiest nation in Africa and quite possibly the most corrupt. Scandinavia, where we are told socialism works. China and India, the future some say of democracy and national greatness. France, Barack Obama's model for America and the country with the best marketing in the world. Brazil, what prevents this country from making the jump from good to great? In Britain, a country that is, in a sense, America fast forwarded. As we near America's shores, we'll have a better perspective on the question of national greatness. Is it an accident of history and geography or do nations determine their own fate? Is it about personal and national wealth, or um, is religion a factor or isn't it? And we'll be able to answer the big question, if America's not great, then who is?